Hey what's up guys in today's video we will be creating this kind of realistic pencil sketch text design using Adobe Photoshop. This design is fully customizable it means that you can change the text anytime you want and you can also do some more customization. So if you want to download this project file click on the link in the video's description. It is absolutely for free. Now hit the like button and let's jump to the Photoshop. Okay so here we are in Photoshop and the first thing that we need to do is to create new document. As always the size is 1920 by 1080 and the resolution is 72 pixel per inch. Click on create. To create the paper texture let's unlock this layer and convert it into a smart object. Right click on it and choose blending option. In the layer style menu click on inner shadow. Blend mode is normal, the color is black, opacity is 10%. Click on this drop down menu and select this preset. Make sure the noise is 100%. We just created a paper texture. You can increase its opacity to see it clearly. But for now, just keep it 10%. Hit OK. Let's rename it Background. Now pick your type tool. Click anywhere on the canvas and type your text. Press Ctrl Enter to confirm it and align it to the center. Convert the layer into a smart object so we can edit it later. Rename it Text. Now to apply the pencil texture, first we need to create it. So let's drag and drop this image into the Photoshop. By the way, you can download these kind of images from Envato Elements. They have 7 day free trials, so if you want to check them out, click on the link in the video's description. Anyways, once you import this image into the Photoshop, go to Edit and choose Define Patron. Rename it anything and then hit OK. So close this document because we don't need it anymore. Next, right click on this layer and choose Blending option. First of all, drop down its fill opacity to 0%. Now click on stroke. Size is 1 pixel. Position is center. Opacity is 40% and the color is black. Click on pattern overlay. Click on this drop down menu and select the pattern that we created just before. Hit OK. Now let's duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl J. Also remove all of these effects from it. Right click on it and choose blending option once again. Click on stroke. All the properties are similar to the previous one. Click on inner shadow. This time the opacity is 40% and the noise is 60%. Also click on this drop down menu and select this preset. Hit OK. Now to create a variation between these two layers, we need to distort it. So go to filter, distort and choose zigzag. Amount is 1. Ridges is 2 and the style is around center. Hit OK. Again go to filter, distort, this time choose ripple. Amount is 20% and the size is small. Hit OK. Now select these two layers and put them in a group by pressing Ctrl G. Let's rename it text. Press Ctrl T to open transform tool and rotate it a little bit just like this. By the way, hit the subscribe button if you are not subscribed to this channel yet. Anyways, to create these kind of lines, let's open this group, select this layer, hold Alt key on your keyboard and drag it to the top. It will duplicate this layer in the same position. Remove all of these effects from it because we do need it. Also increase its opacity back to 100%. Let's rename it lines. Next, go to filter, blur and choose motion blur. Distance is 2000 pixel and adjust the angle according to your text. Hit OK when you are done. Now go to Filter, Stylize and choose Fine Edges. It will create these lines. Now to increase its intensity, press Ctrl L to open levels and move this slider to the right side just like this. It will increase its intensity. Now create a curves adjustment layer and adjust it just like this to add contrast. And now it is done. If you want to change the text, double click on this layer, it will open another document. And here you can edit it, or you can just use your logo. Now if it is cutting off like in this case, go to image and choose reveal all. It will fix the problem. Now close this document and save it. Photoshop will update everything for you. By the way, if you want to learn how to create this design, you can watch this video.
Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Also ring the bell icon so you will get notified whenever I post a new video just like this one. I'll be catch you in my next video. Till then, peace.